Hey guys, so today I am here with a haul. My favorite videos to shoot because they're simple and I get to look at my clothes that I bought and remember that I spent a lot of money. So anyway, I wanna just jump into it. And can I just say you guys, I have not been feeling myself lately. I've been really down and depressed and I have not been wanting to film or edit. So that's why my videos have been just a little bit late. Even though I have had them pre-filmed, I have not edited them. I've just been really down and I didn't want to come up here and fake it, but I am slowly coming back to myself. I, it took a lot of inner thoughts to get myself back on track with helping myself get over things and, you know, feel better and just tell myself life goes on. So I'm back here for you guys and let's just get started into this haul because I am very excited. So the first place I'm going to start off with is Forever 21 and I bought these night shorts. Yes, they are in a maroon color. I love maroon. Can you not tell by this screen? Maroon. Maroon. Under my fingertips, maroon. Kind of kind of red, but I don't know if you guys can even see that, but under my fingertips with my nails, it's red. I love this color. So I'm going to try to wear these during summer, you know, when you go to the beach, but for right now, they're going to be night shorts because I got them in a night short section, so maybe that's why. And they're extremely short. They have the lace detail. They're so cute. They were $10.90 and I got them in a medium just to make sure that they're comfortable because who wants to wear tight stuff to bed? Then the next thing and the last thing I got from Forever 21, I think is the last thing. Oh no, it's not the last thing. Anyway, the next thing I got from Forever 21 is this workout jacket slash shirt hoodie type thing and it has the open shoulders it zips up and down um, it has a hood this thing fits so well it just makes your body look so slim and I love it I wish they had more colors and it was kind of expensive it was $24 but it just fits so well and looks so good on that I loved it and it has mesh paneling you can't really see it right here but it's like it's not see-through, but it's like a mesh right here, and then it's regular material right here, and then so on and so forth. I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can see it, because the picture actually like depicts it, uh, the mesh, more than what my camera is picking up on. But this was expensive. It's a workout top, because I am working out. Hopefully the last thing from Forever 21, because I always forget to include some things from other from places every time in my haul. I always forget, like, oh, I also bought that. Dang it, it's too late. But I got this white, very, not heavy, it's a very loose and very thin jacket for those days that aren't freezing. So like when it's transitioning from winter to spring, it's not as cold, but you still need some type of jacket. I got this. Did my screen just turn blue? Ooh. It's very thin. You guys saw it in my Outfits of the Week video, which I will um, link down below if you want to go see that. You should go check it out. And it was really expensive, it's really thin. I consider it another Olivia Pope jacket for some reason. But at first, looking at it right here, it kind of looks like a doctor's jacket, but on, I keep it tied in the back so that it gives it um, more of a silhouette so that it doesn't give off that doctor vibe. But I love it, it has this little flap right here. I, at first I was kind of iffy about it, but I've learned to style it and it looks pretty darn well put together. Next are tights. I bought three pair. I'm already wearing one, so I'll just include a snip pick of me wearing the ones I'm wearing now. It has see-through mesh um, going down the leg and just regular tights in the middle. You guys can see it from me showing you. Hopefully I don't forget. Um, and those were, I want to say $7. And then I got these tights right here. Um, they're all leather or pleather. And then, but what makes them so awesome is on the side, they have lace going up and down the legs. It's really risque by not being too risque. You know, it still leaves some imagination. You have to be really careful with them because the lace is kind of not cheap, but you know, lace breaks easily. So that's what those are. I got these for like eight or ten dollars at the thrift store. No, I got those, yeah, from the thrift store. These are from eBay. I'm going out of order now because it's easier to do the things that aren't on hangers because when it's on hangers, it's topped on top of each other and I don't want to I don't want you guys are okay with me going out of order right I'm sorry I'll try not to I'm trying not to but sometimes it's just easier to do it that way and they're kind of like the tights that I'm wearing right now except they have lace they're opened up all the way with these like uh, oh my god they're shredded and then on the inside though 
where the shreds are, there is lace detailing. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll hopefully, I'll be able to show it when I put it on. And these were one size fit all, I think, or they were a medium. But I got these off eBay. It was it was really iffy for me to do it because one size fit all does not fit all, especially when it's coming from an Asian country. But these fit very well. But I would be I would tell you guys beware buying from eBay. You know, make sure you know your size. I've been shopping from eBay so long that I know what and will not fit. Sometimes I'm off, sometimes I'm not. The next things are the necklaces that I uh, that I was talking about for uh, Christmas. My brother got them, but they hadn't come in, so I couldn't show you guys in my last haul. They're huge. They're not everybody's style. Sometimes I think they're not even my style, but during summer, these things are going to look fantastic. So it's this big ass necklace. It is a two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, I think, seventeen scarab necklace, and it's from Egypt. Um, you know, it's those um, traditional necklaces that they used to wear back in Egypt, but except they're handmade and they're more colorful. Um, if you guys watch the, um, that Moses movie, Kings and Gods, um, Exodus Kings and Gods, they have these on. And I think I said that in my last haul, but that's why I'm even more obsessed with them. This thing is heavy and this thing was $30. The next one was, I think, around $12 or $13. And it's this one right here, not as big, but it goes around. It reminds me of a butterfly. Like right here, they have those exotic butterflies in the world. And they have like this, or moths. It reminds me of moth colors. Moths are beautiful if I wasn't scared of them. Um, but these are gorgeous. Um, I can't wear them during winter because, of course, I have to put a jacket over it. And when I do, since these things go around my neck all the way, and it, this like kind of sits up, the coat sit on top of it and make it bunch up right here. So these are going to be perfect during summer when I don't have to put a coat on. Everybody can see how amazing they look. I am in love with these scarab necklaces. But until until summer, I can't really do anything with them. So the next place I went was Charlotte Russe, and this was the dress that I wore for my Valentine's Day. Um, I couldn't go out on Valentine's Day exactly. I went out on the 13th instead of the 14th because I was going to be working all day on the 14th. But it is this see-through material right here. Not very see-through where you can see my boobs, but my boobs were popping out. It was really sexy. I wanted to be sexy on Valentine's Day. It's peplum, all leather, and it goes down really long like a Kim Kardashian dress. And it has huh, a split somewhere. Where's the split? It has a split right here, not too far up. It's just perfect. It fit me so well. I really loved it, and so did my boyfriend. I got this for $15. It was on sale. I went, I stopped by Rainbow and I got this um, crop top black and white striped shirt. Um, it's really simple. It's, I got it in a medium so that it wouldn't fit too tight because I have big boobs. And I really like it. Um, I love this color and it, it matches really well with the maroon sweater that I put over it. And you guys can also see that in my outfits of the week video that I posted. This was like five or six dollars. Now on to Wet Seal. I got this white chiffon top is really simple silver zippers right here i wanted something so simple that could be dressed up or dressed down and i needed it in white it's see-through so you have to put something under it but it's just really simple kind of needed something like that and it was eight dollars on sale and then i also got this beanie right here it says trill does anybody know what trill means because when i bought it i thought it said thrill like t-h-r-i-l-l -L not trill, and then when I looked in the mirror after I bought it, I was like, trill? What the hell is trill? So please comment down below if you guys know what trill is. This was $9. I love the color, again, it's maroon. Going back to the thrift store, um, I got this maroon cardigan. It has the leather right here. You guys are gonna see this in my upcoming Star Style Still video, if I haven't already posted it. And you can also see this in my Outfits of the Week video. So I've been really wearing this. I love the color. And I got this for $10, I believe. It was originally Je Jennifer Lauren, but um, and it's a large, but I got it from a thrift store for $10. Moving on to TJ Maxx. You guys know I work there. I got these workout tights. I only usually buy like black tights, gray tights, blue tights, like simple. I don't get any um, designs because you can't match everything to a design, but I want it to be, you know, more fun, you know, have some fun dressing for the gym. So I got these tights right here. They fit perfect. And I love the design. They were not too out there, but they were still, you know, out there. If 
you know what I mean. And these were on sale for like ten dollars, I believe. And they're um, they they don't go all the way down. What are they called? I don't know. What is it called when the pant doesn't go all the way down? It stops at like your cap or something. I forget what it's called. Comment down below. I'm having brain farts. Brain farts. I don't know what they're called. So the next thing from TJ Maxx was this blue shirt right here. I got in my last haul. I showed you guys the orange version of this. I went back and got the blue version so that it would match my necklaces that I just saw. Um, showed you guys. Um, I really wanted the blue to be shown in the necklaces, so I picked this out, and this was nine dollars. I also got another um, plaid top. It's a really loose one, so it's not the traditional plaid material. You know, the um, soft cottony feel of the cotton. I mean, of the uh, plaid shirt. This is just a chiffon feeling one, and I love the colors. It was, I thought it was gonna match really well with like a burgundy lip. So I got this, and this was like twelve dollars. I really like this. And then I got this black and white chiffon top. I wanted to get um, a black and white top like this so that I can dress it up and dress it down. I have like regular white beaters like that, but I wanted, you know, to be able to put a blazer on this and still look put together as well as put some tights on with this and, you know, still be dressed down. The next thing I got from TJ Maxx is I'm wearing it. It is this quartz necklace. It goes all the way down. It's kind of like a white grayish quartz. I wish it was a different color, but this matches with, you know, really basic things like this top. And the gold on it just really makes things stand out when it's like up against things. You guys can tell. It's really, really, really pretty. And this was $19.99. So the last clothing item I bought was from eBay. And it's this jacket right here. I want to get the red one. I don't really need to save my money. It has um, pleather sleeves. It's navy blue in the middle, and then it has like this gray paneling, which you can choose to have shown right here, or you can choose to just have the blue shown, but if you want the gray to show, you just flip it, and it's right there. And I really love it. It's not the best quality, but it is very warm and very chic looking for as long as it's gonna last. Um, it was only like $20. So I'm gonna move on to scarves from H&M, no, from eBay. I got this black scarf. Um, man, my stuff is on the floor, so it's getting like dog hair on it. But it's just this big infinity scarf. Um, I want it, uh, just a black one to match with everything. So I got this one. It was only like eight dollars. The next one was more expensive. I got this one from H and M. This one was seventeen dollars. But as you can see, it's really thick and really big. I wanted to be able to wear this one as a hood when it starts really snowing. Let's see like that because it is freezing when I walk to my classes and when I walk back from my classes and sometimes I'm walking outside when like it's dark because you know it gets dark earlier and that is really rude hello that was my boo anyway so this is really warm and really big so I wasn't um, too distraught over spending $17 on this because Oh my god, you guys, if you're in college, you feel my pain, and especially if you're in college where it snows and you have to walk everywhere, you know this saves your life. So the next scarf I got uh, is from eBay. It is this fur one right here. I actually wore it today. Um, it's really warm and it's really chic. This is the type of scarf that you wear if you want to be chic. It does keep you warm. Like, I'm not lying. It keeps you warm. Um, it sheds a little bit. I got this for $8, I believe. I kind of want to buy another one. So when it gets really cold, because like that scarf, I could, the bigger scarf I could put over my mouth when I really am cold, like today. But instead, with this one, it's not that big. So I just put it up, I put the fur up to my mouth so that when the wind blows, it, I'm not like, my snot isn't like freezing like that. So this was $8, it's really chic. I love it, I really do love it. It just sheds just a little bit. Moving on to shoes. I bought two pairs of shoes, one pair of heels. These are gonna be um, summer shoes, obviously, because they're too open to be a winter shoe. And I'm hopefully being able to take this to Paris with me. And I'll show you guys what I also bought for Paris and like after I sh show the second pair of shoes. But, um, you know, these were like kind of chic. They were really cheap. They were only $14.99. I don't really expect my shoes to last forever because I wear, I buy so many shoes that I don't mind my shoes not lasting forever. 
so that I don't have a whole closet full of shoes that I just don't ever get to wear. Like, it just, it doesn't bother me like that. Like, people are like, I want my shoes to last forever. I really don't care if they last forever because there's always a better shoe that's coming out that I want to spend my money on that I, shoes are meant to wear and, you know, wear and tear. You're going to be wearing them a lot, so it doesn't bother me. So I got these for $14 and, you know, they're really chic. They're going to be really fun to style during summer. The next pair of shoes are what my boyfriend bought for me for Valentine's Day. He wanted to get me a nice pair of workout shoes. Lord forbid, I don't know why. I told him to buy me a pair of heels. But I agreed to the workout shoes because I really did need some new ones. So he got me the Nikes. Um, I don't know what these are called. They're called Women's Nike Free 5.0. Are those new? I don't know. I'm not... Sneakers are not my shoe department. Heels are my shoe department. So I was like in the store like, are these hip? Are these cool? Do these have swag? I had no idea what I was doing and he said the Nikes are good. Um, they were seven, they came up to $70, so I guess it's a good shoe. They're really like light and they kind of like the ones the bloggers have been getting. I don't know if these are the ones the bloggers getting. They're called Nike Free and they're like green on the inside. The last thing I bought for myself were suitcases. Oh, I got this big suitcase right here. I don't know what measurements this is, but it's pretty huge. It has, of course you can tell, cheetah print right here, uh, pink trimming right here, and on the inside, this is this the inside. Oh. oh, this is an inside. Oh my god. On the inside, I have another suitcase. I bought two. So this one is much smaller. I wanted like a set just to be cute in case I like want to travel for a really long period of time. And of course, I don't know, this one probably isn't a carry-on. I wanted it to carry on, but I thought the carry-on was too small. So I just got two for like, if I'm only going to like my aunt's house in like South Carolina, I could just bring this small one. But um, the bigger one is for when I go to Paris. So if you guys watched my, my vlogs last year, I went to Honduras, Mexico, Belize. Well, I went to Mexico twice. And then, you know, Honduras, Belize, I went to, then we were in Florida and I was in South Carolina. That whole span of when I was on vacation, I posted vlogs. My last one was my Honduras vlog, and I announced to you guys that I was going to be going to Paris this year. So to encourage me and motivate me to, you know, save up, continue doing what I'm doing, you know, living my life, traveling, all the places that I want to go, I wanted some motivation. So I thought buying my own set of suitcases, luggage that is cute, will inspire me to continue to do what I'm doing, stay on track, you know, finish college, and then you, the world is, is it called the world is your oyster? Then the world is your oyster? The world is mine. We'll go with that one. <laughs> so that was my haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's, I feel like myself now. Like I feel happy in front of the camera. I, I don't know. I just feel like I need a hug from like you guys. So it internet hug. I'll see you guys later. I'm hugging you. This this is this is I'm hugging you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.